In a significant development, the Varanasi court today dismissed Anjuman Islamia Masjid Committee's plea filed under Order 7 Rule 11 of the CPC challenging the maintainability of the suit filed by five Hindu women seeking worshipping rights in the Ganwapi Mosque compound. District Judge A.K. Vishvesha ordered rules that the suit filed by the Hindu worshippers is not barred by the Places of Worship Act or the WAF Act. With this, the Anjuman Islamia Committee's challenge to maintainability of the suit has been rejected. Now the suit of the Hindu worshippers will be heard further by the Varanasi court. The plaintiffs who are Hindu women worshippers have essentially sought a right to worship Ma Srinagar Gauri on the outer wall of the mosque complex located next to the Kashi Vishwanath temple. The maintainability of the very suit had been challenged by the Anjuman committee which manages the Ganwapi mosque in Varanasi arguing that the Hindu worshipper suit is barred by law that is barred by the Places of Worship Act of 1991. Having heard the parties at length, District Judge A.K. Vishvesha last month completed the hearing and resolved its orders. The plaintiffs have claimed that the present mosque premises was once a Hindu temple and it was demolished by Mughal ruler Aurangzeb and thereafter the present mosque structure was built there. On the other hand, the Anjuman Masjid Committee has argued in its objection an Order 7 Rule 11 CPC application that the suit is specifically barred by the Places of Worship Special Provisions Act of 1991. To provide a bit of context regarding the case, the local court presided by the Varanasi civil judge Ravi Kumar Divarkar had earlier appointed a survey commission to submit a report by visiting the mosque. Thereafter, the court had received the survey report on May 19th. However, even before the submission of the survey report, the court on a submission made by the court-appointed advocate commissioner that a Shivalinga had been found inside the Ganwapi mosque premises during the survey had ordered to seal the spot. The district magistrate Varanasi is ordered to immediately seal the place where the Shivalinga is found and the entry of any person is prohibited in the sealed place the court had recorded in its order. Meanwhile, a petition was filed by the Masjid Committee before the Supreme Court of India challenging the survey ordered by the Varanasi court. Hearing the plea on May 17, the Supreme Court had clarified that the order passed by the Civil Judge Senior Division at Varanasi to protect the spot where a shivling was claimed to have been found during the survey of the Ganwapi Mosque will not restrict the right of Muslims to access the mosque to offer namaz and to perform other religious rituals. Further, on May 20th, the Supreme Court had transferred the suit filed by Hindu devotees in connection with the Ganwapi Mosque Kashi Vishwanath Temple dispute to the District Court in Varanasi. The Supreme Court had also ordered that the application filed by the Committee of Management Anjuman Intizamiya Masjid before the trial court under Order 7 Rule 11 of the CPC for rejection of the suit as being barred in law shall be decided on priority by the district judge. Meanwhile, it was also ordered that its interim order dated May 17 shall continue in operation till the application is decided and for a period of eight weeks thereafter. With this, a bench comprising Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, Justice Surya Kant and Justice P.S. Narasimha had adjourned the matter to October 20th. Thank you. This is Arastra Kabhomik for Live Law. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates.